What's good, y'all? Thank you for tuning in to the Luxor YouTube channel. My name is Colin Harper. I'm the head of research and content at Hashrate Index, and today I have the immense privilege of sharing with you the first ever review of the Antminer S21. The Antminer S21 is the most efficient Bitcoin mining rig model from Bitmain. Bitmain released the model at its World Digital Mining Summit in September 2023. At 200 and 17.5 joules per terahash, the air-cooled model is the most powerful and efficient ASIC miner on the market, and the first deliveries of the model are expected to arrive in January 2024. In this video review, we'll examine the Antminer S21's exterior and interior design. Let's dive into it. Taking a look at the rig's exterior, we can see that the S21 is similar in size to its predecessors, but it is slightly heavier. The S21 weighs 15.4 kilograms, which is 1 kilogram more than the S19XP and 2.2 kilograms heavier than the S19J Pro. It uses a new power supply unit first seen with the S19JXP, the APW171215A, with five high voltage 500 volt capacitors, which can accommodate 220 to 277 volts. Additionally, the PSU comes with the P14 plug type, also known as the PA45 plug, a different plug than used with most of the S19 series. The power cord end, named Antwire officially, uses a different standard as well, called P13. As a result, miners will need a P13 cord and a specialized PDU or a customized C20-P13 cord to use the C19 PDU that was common for the S19 deployments. The S21 uses the same high current fans on the front and back of the rig, which are rated at 6.4 amps, the highest ever for a Bitcoin mining machine. These high current fans will maximize the S21's airflow to help the rig from overheating. Taking a look at the interior, we can see that the S21 employs an Amlogic A113D control board, and this control board uses the same connectors as the S19K Pro. Please note, as with other ASICs, Bitmain may use a variety of control boards for the S21 series. The control board also uses four of the Molex MicroFit style connectors to support the more powerful front and rear fans. As a result, if miners replace the control boards, they will need to replace the fans as well to make sure that the fan connectors still function as intended. The S21's hash boards use a bolted-on aluminum heatsink on the back of the hash board that is similar to the S19J Pro. As with the S19XP, the S21 also features a second lightweight one-piece aluminum heatsink on the front to ensure that the hash board disperses heat evenly. The S21 features three hash boards, which use the BHB68603 board type, with each hash board housing 108 chips. By comparison, the S19K Pro has 77 chips per board, the S19J Pro has 126, the S19XP has 110, and the S19J Pro Plus has 120. The S21 strikes a balance between the high chip count in older S19 models and the lower chip count in newer S19 models, achieving better efficiency with higher hash rate as a result. Let's turn our attention to the interior of the S21's PSU. The S21's PSU features five 500 volt capacitors, a step up from the S19J Pro Plus's four 450 volt capacitors. This improvement ensures safe and stable electricity flow for the model, especially in the case of overclocking. That concludes our review of the Antminer S21's design and specifications. Stay tuned for our next Antminer S21 review, where we'll test the model's performance under various temperature conditions. Until next time, happy hashing, y'all.